basically BBQ smoking chips. That sounds rather odd. Oh, that looks like something from the 1900s. They didn't have any cars back then. They only had wagons with horses. I'm tweaking. They look like farmers. Well, Texas is the king of all barbecue. Well, we're making bratwurst tonight, and I'd like to see how we use these. And I hope I'm not excited for nothing. well on two challenges. And that is because you were out of your element. So, my mention is going to be coming very shortly and they're looking forward to meet you. I've told them all about you. I can see that. And it was kind of strange. Everything you did was entertaining. They all loved you. Especially one of the toughest critics in the world, Al Alex Golden Shelley. Oh. I'm impressed. You're the next Food Network show. Well done. Now, question is, when is your show going to be on? Some of us hope it's uh, so much. Because I'm going to find out when it's on. And I'm going to watch it. Two weeks. Well, wow, that's a long time. Well. 
before they come, I just want to say that I'm sure they are going to go crazy over you. Because it's obvious that they're going to really like you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I also have another three number stone. I'm afraid it's the opposite. Because you from the left, and then the other one that competed on the last series, is guess where she is? Yes! The cell. She has this show called uh, Oh, I forget what it's called. But, I wanted to watch it, but they changed the schedule. So, rather disappointing. So, anyway. Oh, there they come now. Amenton, wonderful to see you. Come inside. I'll explain to you here when they get in. Okay, so I know you have heard me talk all about Next Food Network stalls. And this is Lenny. McDab, whatever your last name is, um, he's going to be staying here for two weeks. Oh, well. It's very nice of you to uh, tell me, but one of the rules of this mention is the name has to be figured out. I can't tell you. I have reasons, but it would be too silly to just say to them, say, um, tell them to you. So, <clears throat> this is Winnie, and, um, oh, what's that one? The, oh, the newest Phillips will be healed tomorrow. Yes. The staff is made with love, and she really gave us that message. And she talks to her food a lot. She, she says, you do look pr pretty, little dude, or whatever she says. <laughs> so, I just want to say that it is, it is an honor having you feel. And I can see that you all are all excited to get to see him. Now, since you all were excited about this children coming, tonight we are going to make a deal that um, is a special deal because we're having a new guest come to our mansion and that's wonderful. Unfortunately, I didn't get to meet them because they were too far distant. I live here in Arizona, and it's a perfect place because it's it's nice. It's it's a desert area, and this is Arizona, so I'm so happy you would have come down. And it is a perfect place for someone like you. So um. It is obvious that you are a cowboy because you dress exactly like me. Now, let me just say that this was not easy, but everyone voted for him, everyone loved him. It's a 11 week show, the uh, very last week. They will be also in the Food Network show for all of the feedback from the show. So, I want to just say that 
He is a really good cook and a great entertainer, good on presentations, and very entertaining. But I was surprised when Bobby Clay spit out your left uh, tortilla. And then you were very creative in the first episode with being the monster. So there was actually a scene in the show where Lenny um, made that food and so uh, Bobby Flay spit out his uh, classic breakfast uh, bread, so prepare. So then episode uh, four is when he, um, they split up in teams. And I had a candy ball and I had to make like this acting type blooper video, like play video. And he was the monster with those paydays. And then uh, they had a Hollywood party where there was this unusual guy. I really don't know what's wrong with people these days. They get themselves out with these decorations. <laughs> I do agree with them when they say be yourself. And that's actually a message that a lot of uh, movies have, especially in the Great Race movie, Thomas the Tank Engine. So, yes, I think that he was rather strange. He didn't sound like a man. He sounded like a lady, some sort of woman. So anyway, the fifth episode. Am I going to you? Oh. Let's talk about that. So. Tonight, we are going to be having a classic meal. It's going to be chicken with onions, celery, and then carrots. With that holy bite that he made for the Hollywood Collin. Whatever it was, I thought it was delicious. So it's going to be a nice feast of different things. So, tonight we're going to have that chicken dish. Tomorrow night we're going to have those fish tacos with the guacamole. The next night we're going to have those crab cakes. The night after that, we're going to have the party bite. And we're going to combine it with a lot of other dishes. It's going to be this um, things. And then the next night we're going to be making those lamb bowls that you made. And then basically that coffee rub steak that um, I really I I think that all of you will enjoy. Now I talked to you about cooking. I told you to get out of your comfort zone. And there was a reason they called him to say to him to go in his hell for it. There's a reason for that. <clears throat> now I want you to go downstairs and unpack your stuff. And my husband will be down here. To uh help you unload and the beds might be full but we have separate cabins out here. We have a very big yard so you're probably going to sleep in one of the cabins. And since Lenny is a cowboy, we are going to go to the desert part of Arizona because that will really represent his uh, identity. So, I hope that you all are looking forward to a nice set of dinners. 
you're looking forward to um, learning about um, the life of a cowboy. And next time, we're going to have Excuse me. I have to do something. Jamilis, Phillips, wonderful to see you. It's so nice to uh, see you again. Who is this? You make a perfect couple. It's all about the accents. And it's all about darlings and honey honey. Now let's go inside. Jamilis is here. I know you're uh, looking forward to meet all uh, Gourmet Cowboy when in the field. Let's hurry up! We're not going to let any but get inside. No. Okay, I just didn't want to let any uh, extra bugs in. So now, this is the Millis Phillips, and I feel like I didn't expect you coming this building. I expected you to come up. Um, tomorrow. Well, that's too late. Anyway. Winning is a cowboy. He is from the West Coast. You, on the other hand, are from the South. And that message was abundantly clear. Southern food is made with love. It's abundantly clear. You all kind of zany. And I also have to welcome another guest. Rodney Henry. Nice to see you. He is a pie guy. He all he makes is pies. Make something else. He has a he has a guitar. Yes, 